Welcome to South Georgia Career Center, Medical Assistant Course. Chapter 3, Nervous System. Contents in this chapter are Sense organs of the nervous system Eye Ear Nose Tongue Body Common medical conditions Cataract Epilepsy Glaucoma Parkinson's disease Tumor Anatomy of the nervous system The nervous system is divided into several structures and systems that all work together to function. The first division of the nervous system is between the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system, central nervous system. The average brain of an adult weighs about 3 pounds. The brain contains about 100 billion neurons, known as brain cells, as well as trillions of glia, known as support cells. The spinal cord measures about 17 inches and weighs about 1.3 ounces. The vertebral column, the collection of bones and host to the spinal cord, measures about 27 inches long. The spinal cord inside the vertebral column is much shorter. The central nervous system is divided into two main parts, the spinal cord and the brain, spinal cord. Located inside the vertebral column. Its function is to relay information from and to the brain. About 16 inches long and less than 1 inch wide. The spinal cord consists of 31 segments, cervical, 8, thoracic, 12, lumbar, 5, sacral, 5, and coccygeal, 1. Spinal nerves exit from each segment of the spinal cord. Brain. The brain is located in the skull and belongs to the nervous system. Its function is to control the actions of the body. The brain is made of a soft tissue. Meninges, connective tissue membranes, separate the brain from the skull. The brain does not grow rather develops over time. The brain has several functional subsystems such as the sensory system, the motor system, and the neurotransmitter system, peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system consists of 31 pairs of spinal nerves that connect the spinal cord to the body, carrying information in form of nerve impulses from the spinal cord to the body and back. The peripheral nervous system is divided into two main parts, the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system, somatic nervous system. Consists of peripheral nerve fibers. Peripheral nerve fibers send sensory information to the central nervous system as well as motor nerve fibers which project to the skeletal muscle. The somatic nervous system's function is the voluntary control of body movements, autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system controls smooth muscle of the internal organs, viscera, as well as glands. Divided into three parts, sympathetic nervous system, parasympathetic nervous system, and the enteric nervous system. The main function of the sympathetic nervous system is the mobilization of the body's resources under stress. The main function of the parasympathetic nervous system is the stimulation of activities occurring while the body is under rest, including digestion, urination, lacrimation, and even sexual arousal. The main function of the enteric nervous system is the control of the gastrointestinal system, brain structures, the following contains information about the functions of each of the different brain structures, cerebral cortex, voluntary movement, language, reasoning, thought, perception, cerebellum, movement, posture, balance, brain stem, heart rate, breathing, blood pressure, hypothalamus, thirst, hunger, body temperature, emotions, circadian rhythms, thalamus, movement, sensory processing, limbic system, memory, emotions, hippocampus, memory, learning, basal ganglia, movement, midbrain, vision, eye movement, audition, body movement, sense organs of the nervous system, the following contains information about each of the different sense organs of the nervous system, eye, organ of vision, sight, 
complex structure which consists of a transparent lens which focuses light on the retina. The retina is covered with two types of light-sensitive rods and cones. Rods are sensitive to light and cones are sensitive to color. Eyes are connected to the brain through the optic nerve. The brain takes the input of both eyes and turns it into a 3D image. To determine a person's vision, health professionals use a Snellen chart. Normal vision for the average person is considered to be 20-20. In some cases, vision defects, also known as refractive errors, are caused due to abnormal shape of the lens or length of the eye. Typical vision defects are farsightedness, nearsightedness, and astigmatism, ear. Organ of hearing. The outer ear transmits vibrations to the inner ear. The inner ear is covered by nerve fibers that react to these vibrations and then transmit impulses to the brain. The brain will combine the input of the ears and determine the direction and distance of sounds. In some cases, hearing problems occur. People exposed to loud noise for long periods may be affected by tinnitus. Tinnitus is characterized by symptoms such as a constant buzzing or whistling sound, nose. Organ of smell. The nose cavity is lined with mucous membranes with smell receptors. Smells consist of vapors of substances. The receptors interact with these vapors and transmit the sensation to the brain. In some cases, the sense of smell is disturbed or damaged due to conditions such as hyposmia and anosmia. Hyposmia is a condition where there is a reduced ability to smell. Anosmia is a condition of the inability to smell at all. Tongue. Organ of taste. The tongue has receptors for taste, taste buds, that are able to detect salty, sweet, bitter, and sour. In general, taste buds close to the tip of the tongue are sensitive to sweet taste, and taste buds located in the back of the tongue are sensitive to bitter tastes. Taste buds that are located on the top and sides of the tongue are sensitive to sour and salty tastes. Sense of taste works in conjunction with the sense of smell. In some cases, taste disorders occur such as hypogeusia and agusia. Hypogeusia is a condition with reduced ability to taste sweet, salty, sour, and bitter tastes. Agusia is a condition in which no sense of taste is present, body. Organ of touch. Nerve endings in the skin, as well as other body parts, transmit sensations to the brain. Some body parts are more sensitive as they have more nerve endings. The highest number of nerve endings are found at the fingertips and sexual organs. There are four types of touch sensation, contact, heat, cold, and pain. The hair on the skin acts as an early warning sign. A skin disorder called congenital analgesia would cause a child to have little or even no sense of touch. In this situation, the child would have no sense of pain, common medical conditions. The following contains information about some of the different medical conditions of the nervous system, cataract. Clouding of the eye lens. As a person ages, the proteins inside the lens break down making the lens become cloudy. Symptoms may include sensitivity to glare, double vision, color intensity loss, or blurry vision. Standard eye exams can be used to diagnose cataracts. Treatment includes eyeglasses, magnifying glasses, or changes in lighting, epilepsy. A brain disorder that causes repeated seizures. Permanent changes in the brain tissue cause it to be jumpy, causing the brain to send out abnormal signals, resulting in seizures. Epilepsy can be classified into different types of seizures, focal, partial, seizures, petit mal, absence, seizures, and grand mal, generalized tonic clonic, seizures. Causes include brain injury, infections, dementia, brain tumor or metabolism disorders. Symptoms can vary and be a dramatic seizure, or as simple as staring spells. To diagnose epilepsy and EEG electroencephalogram, is done. Treatment for epilepsy can include medication and slash or surgery, glaucoma. Group of eye conditions causing damage to the optic nerve. Glaucoma is divided into four main types, 
chronic, open angle, glaucoma, congenital glaucoma, acute, angle closure, glaucoma, and secondary glaucoma. Glaucoma is the second most cause of blindness in the U.S. In most cases of glaucoma, the affected person has a high intraocular pressure, IOP. If the intraocular pressure is high, it damages the optic nerve. Symptoms include pain in the eye, cloudy or loss of vision, red eye, swollen eyes, or tearing. To diagnose glaucoma eye exams can be performed. Other tests to diagnose glaucoma are optic nerve imaging, gonioscopy, and ortonometry. Treatment for glaucoma includes medication or surgery to lower the eye up, Parkinson's disease. Neurological disease, leading to a degeneration of brain cells. In general, Parkinson's disease starts to affect people in their 50s. Motor symptoms include slowness in movement, stiffness in limb, and or shaking. In later stages of the disease, an impairment of balance may occur. To diagnose Parkinson's disease, a neurologist should make a physical examination. Treatment depends on the progression of the disease, tumor. A brain tumor consists of a group of abnormal cells. Causes are unknown, although certain factors may contribute to a higher risk of being affected. Some risk factors are exposure to radiation as well as possible inherited conditions. Symptoms include headaches, weakness, seizures, loss of balance, and or loss of alertness. Many tests can give a diagnosis such as CT scans, MRI, and or tissue examination. Treatment can include radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and or surgery.